So one of my sisters and I were talking today and the subject came up, how do you enter into the presence of God? Like when you're in a worship setting, like what do you, what do you do to enter into the presence of God? And what does that even mean to feel God's presence? You know, a lot of people might have the question of what am I even saying when I say just yield to the Holy Spirit, just enter in. Well, I have one thing that is very important I want to share with you. First and foremost, you have to ask yourself, where are you at with God? Being real with Him. And where is your heart? Is your heart in a broken place? Then you just come to Him in that brokenness. Is it in a joyful place? You come to Him in that joyfulness. Because the Bible says that God desires truth in the inward part. So this is very important to His heart. So the first thing you need to do is just ask yourself, where am I at right now? Am I genuinely thinking through where I am? Am I worshiping God through a genuine place? Get real with God in that moment. And this is where that intimacy begins from because you're opening your heart to him and you're saying, you know what? I feel broken today. I feel tired today. I feel, you know, rejected or abandoned or upset or misunderstood or all the things that might block your ability to enter into his presence. So it's okay for you to open your heart to the Lord and think about it this way. We were having lunch, my friend and I, and I think about it like this is a good visual for you. Think about sitting across the table with God, you know, and when you're in a worship setting, you're sitting across the table and you're you're sharing your heart like the way you share your heart with your friend. And sometimes that might look like venting a little bit, you know, but even to the Lord, you can kind of be like, God, I'm frustrated. Lord, I don't understand this. Why did this happen? And it's okay for you to share your heart and open up to the Lord because that might help you process what is going on. And also it helps you process his heart because part of a conversation when you're having lunch with someone is you share your heart, they share their heart, there's a conversation, there's an openness. Everyone's willing to say, okay, this is where I'm hurt or this is where I have questions. And then you just, you know, correlate, you go, you bounce back and forth and you have a conversation. But what happens at the end of that conversation is something like heals. Something becomes whole. Your heart feels heard, listened to, um, important and valued. And then having the input from your friend makes you say, okay, they care about me enough to spend time to input back. Now, here's the thing. God wants to hear all of your things. So do that. Even if you have to do that in praise and worship so that you can Find a place to enter into truth and honesty with the Lord and have like an open table conversation. And then let God respond back to you. Let him respond back. Let Just like you let your friend answer the needs of your heart, let God do the same thing. And when you sit there in his presence, even if you don't know what he's saying, but you're just waiting and you know that you've laid your heart out on the table, just open and raw before the Lord, and you said all the things, you know what to say, and you're thinking about all the things, and, and you're just here in your mind, you know, while you're in a revival night, or you're at a church service on Sunday morning, or you're at a Bible study, or whatever it is, and you're in your mind, and you're thinking a lot, and it's okay for you to start there, and just be in your thoughts, and think with the Lord, and then let Him respond. Let Him respond to your heart. Think about what you might sense he might be saying. It could come up as a vision or a thought or maybe your heart just begins to change towards the situation and all of a sudden you're like, oh my goodness, I was just frustrated. But now I feel like I have grace for that and there's a peace settling over me and oh, God, you're responding to me. I feel your peace and I feel your grace in this and I don't know how it's going to work out, but I can feel that you're here with me and that he heard you. You feel that he heard you. You're sitting at the table across, across from him and he heard you and he's responding. So even in feeling that peace or that rest that comes over your soul, even if you don't have all the answers, is God responding to you? And this is so important to enter into even the deeper places of his heart, the deeper places of love. But this is where the reality of the truth of entering his presence is because God wants truth. So whatever truth is for you today, just enter into who he is through the truth of who you are and the truth of who he is at the same time. You be honest with him and he's honest with you. 
He'll say, you know, my son paid the price on the cross so that you didn't have to carry this burden and this anxiety or this rejection or this anger. And you can let it go and you can let me have it. Will you lay it on the table right here, just right now? And even though you don't have all the answers and you don't understand, will you let me have it? Will you hand it to me across the table? Let me have that and let me carry it. Let me put it on the cross and let it be crucified with me. And then let me exchange and give you life, give you peace and give you joy, even when you don't understand it. And then something settles over your heart and you realize, I feel like it's going to be okay. And then it's okay for you to accept that truth back from the Lord and let that become your moment of engaging with him in praise and worship. If that's what you need, friend, that's how you enter into his presence because truth will always bring an encounter every time. And whatever you need will come. So I just want to pray for you, Father. I thank you for my friends. I pray that they would be able to bring their whole heart to you on an open table to lay it bare, all the thoughts, all the feelings, all the emotions, and just spill it out over you, Lord, and that I know you will listen to them, that you have an ear to hear them. And Lord, then you're going to respond back with your answer, peace and joy and love overflowing. So I pray for that, Lord, for my friends, when they come to you in praise and worship, that they remember that first they bring their heart and then you bring your heart, Lord. And it's a beautiful dance. I bless you guys. I hope that helped you today. Will you just let me know in the comments that if that helped you today and encouraged you? I have some more to add to that, but I'm just going to start right here with this piece. But look for some more because I have a whole thing in my heart about how to enter the presence of God. So be looking for the next piece. I love you. Let me know in the comments if you like that. Go ahead and, and like and, and also subscribe or follow if you're not. And I would love to hear from you guys. All right. God bless you. Jennifer Martin, Contagious Love International.